Hey guys, Steve here at Pleasant Ranch. It's springtime in Vermont and we're all really excited about that. I personally am excited about Restaurant Week, which is coming up um, in just a few days here. And uh, as part of Restaurant Week, I was asked to make this uh, trophy. This is for a, a local chef's competition uh, that we have up here. It's called the Sweet Start Smackdown and it's presented by Seven Days. They um, asked me to make this trophy uh for the winner of the smackdown now of course this isn't completely done there's going to be a laser engraving with the sweet start smackdown logo and the the winning chef's name um, and i'll try to get a at least a photo of that and post it on my facebook page later on uh, but for now here's how i made it Some of my more frequent viewers might remember this board from my cherry charcuterie project. This is, uh, this is all I've got left of that really beautiful board and it's got some great sapwood on it. Uh, though for this project I just need about a six inch circle and I want to keep it um, all one consistent cherry color so I'm not going to use any sapwood. It looks like if I stick to this end of the board I can get six inches of, uh, of that nice dark cherry wood.
there we have a nice round chunk of cherry that'll make the main body of the trophy. Now this is going to be laser engraved with uh, both the logo and the winner's name. So I need to make a flat section on here that can be um, engraved on. So I'm going to take this to the bandsaw and make a little jig so that I can get a nice angled cut which will give a cool sort of uh, U-shaped yet flat uh, section. So you can see I've roughly laid out my cut here and the deal with this jig is I'm just going to roughly align that cut line and attach these two chunks of 2 by material like so clamp the piece to those then I'll run it through the bandsaw uh, keeping this edge of the plywood against the fence to give me a nice straight cut Keep your fingers crossed. I'm really happy with that. I think that's a cool shape and there's still enough room to attach the whisk to the top. I'm just gonna sand this up get it nice and flat and smooth and uh, put some finish on here and attach the top. Before I attach the whisk, I'm going to go ahead and finish this with a few coats of spray lacquer. Now comes the task of attaching the whisk to the base. And to do that, I'm going to drill a 5 16 pilot hole and use a 3 8 by 5 inch lag screw, which will go right down through the center hole of the whisk and uh, hopefully keep that securely on there. In order to get this big screw in there, I'm going to put a little bit of this beeswax on there. And I got to say, it helps to uh, have a beekeeper in the family sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. 